That might be an important thing to do. You know, you never know. There you go, Psycho Snatcher, Psycho Cannon, and of course, Blanca, why not? On the V trigger, too. There we go. Round one. Fight. So I'm assuming this is going to be the first time these two have played, so it's going to be interesting. They're going to be feeling it out, especially in a three out of five. Yep. Ah, what a whiff punish. Good stuff, maximum stuff, too, by Blanca's electric. <laughs> And those tick throws were not good of Blanca. Looking very good here, despite, you know, me saying that Shadow East has all the experience so far. Yeah, I think the one thing is, like, every Blanca plays a little bit different, right? And you have to kind of yeah. figure them out. I like these Blanca ball, these Rainbow Balls, to stop the forward movement of Shadow Ace. <clears throat> oh, one else? Oh, you know what? I wonder if they... Because De Shadow Ace has entered our tournament before. I wonder if Blanca's yeah. Electric and Shadow Ace played last time. Oh, good to know. Maybe a Shadow Ace is so... He follows by CPT rules, he's never seen this costume before, he doesn't know what to think. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Who knows? He's like, these damn Utah players keeping their, uh... Breaking these laws. Do you guys have any Abigail players? Because I hope they rock the Godzilla outfit on PC. Uh, we do actually have an Abigail player. We haven't seen him around as much lately. Uh, super good oh, guy. Okay. But I don't think he plays on PC. I was seeing a Sriracha Flash, though, posting clips of that mod today, and I was loving it. I was eating so it up. Funny. Oh, jeez. What's not funny is with the command dash up ball, but working out for Blanca, see it? Yo, the OTG. Love to see it. All right, just gonna raw activate. Go, he just double dashes in. Now it's time for Schmixes. Shadow Ace walking out. Schmixes is right, and um, unfortunately for Blanca, you know, Ed's that kind of smart character. Didn't get hit by the cross up. He didn't confirm oh, into super. Accident. Why didn't you confirm into super? Oh, nice. Maybe that's, maybe, maybe that's what the jump medium punch was supposed to be. Yeah, I think so. Might just misconfirm there. O'Neilski in the chat saying he dropped it. One of the other Utah Blancas. Yeah, Shadow Ace is definitely playing this well. When the mixes were coming, he just held back and walked out. Because he knew. He was like, no, I know how to deal with this. I just walk out of this. It's fine. Okay, here we go. Ed, Ed you know, he writes his own elementary here. Teaching us how to count to three. Right. Good blocks there. Okay, he's gonna activate. Just lets the DP rock. Good stuff. Both DPs. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't remember the last time I've seen an Ed player use three X DPs in a row. But I mean, it two worked. Out of three hits. Uh, two out of three of them hit. That's a victory to me. Absolutely right. Well, and he's lucky the second one because Blanca's electric woke up DP. He tries to DP on Blanca's electric's wake up. My God, these men are swinging, swinging. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it was kind of weird because it's not a match we see every day. So it's like they're trying to feel each other out, and they're feeling each other out 80 miles an hour. As weird as that sounds. Oh, look at that. Shadow Ace knowing the range of light Blanca ball there. Oh, no punish on this way. Okay, but now back to the wall is Blanca's electric tries to jump in. And Shadow Ace is out of that corner. Lane tier, unfortunately. <gasps> His double dash gets caught with a snatcher. Lost frames. Oh, good anti by Blanca. Yeah, he's definitely moving. Okay, gets hit with a dash of medium punch, though. I like that view reversal. Like, I don't even want to deal with whatever you might throw at me. Yeah, you know, it's you, you're trading your bar for his beat trigger. It's, it's always a win when that happens. Yep. Blanca's electric is playing very aggressive. He wants on top of this man. Very aggressive, but he's also showing that he can play some defense down backing for quite a while there. Oh, he tried to jump out. Blanca's electric is going to slide activate. View reversal. Just lets it rock. He, he knew. Shadow Ace knew. He was like, nah, he's going to try to keep mixing me. He wants a mix. Yeah, 
And that's the second round in a row that he's ended with the EX Psycho Upper. Yeah, man. He's like, look, dude, I've been writing children's books for years. I can read. I have your book. <laughs> and then are, we're talking R E A D or R E E D. This is that an Ed player for you, I guess. But he's <laughs> Ooh. What's the setup? Tries to bait Tries the DP. To... Exactly. Ooh, look how active that sweep. Get off me. There's the DP we were thinking we were going to see. Got to be careful, though, because Ed's got one on deck. Corner shenanigans. Oh, boy. This is where Blanca is at the scariest. The, the down jab Ow. stopped the cross-up ball. That's definitely kind of weird. That was definitely some... Your thing that you see on Twitter, someone says, "Hey, look at this weird hurt box." Uh -huh. But and what a button choice for Shadow is, of course. I mean, I say what a button because it worked, but to hit him on the other side, facing the other way, that's that's you know, that's some real psycho moves right there. Right, like you either you either absolutely know that situation or you got lucky, right? There's no in between there. It's like no, I know if he goes in, this jab will stuff him. Um. Okay, so was was that was that that was only two. That was only so two, far, right? right? Yeah, yeah. This is first to three. Okay, there's taking a breather there, I guess. See that the, apparently the connection's not so good. Let's see. Oh, he, he skedaddled. I guess man, <laughs> didn't want none of that. Let's see what he's saying. I just tagged him. Ah, okay. Let's see. Wait, is he, wait, who was the guy in that CPT East one had to play Metro M and said, screw this, I'm... Oh, he's playing an IDOM, right? Nah, he's just asking him to... Uh, he's going to reboot his router and asking uh, Shadowways to do the same to see if the connection gets any better. Oh, what gentleman. Oh, I like that because it's not like, hey, you are the problem. It's like, let's do this together. Yeah, let's just figure it out. Like, again, we're playing for tens of dollars. Um, so it's it's not like a huge thing. Actually, speaking of which, if you're hanging out in the chat, don't forget to go look at our match arena. We got it right there. The code is quarters in support of our friends that they own that beautiful, beautiful arcade bar. And, uh, yeah. Go put that 50 cents in there so we can get some cash in there for that prize pool. Top one gets paid if we don't raise more than 50 bucks. Once we break 50, top two get paid. Once we break 75, top three get paid. So... Trying some different incentives here. Make sure you do those sponsor quests. That's true, Reveal. Oh. You could buy stacks of Hot Wheels for tens of dollars. That is the truth. And let me tell you something. I, w I was working retail until about sometime this year, and I was working at Target. Let me tell you, some of the worst people were the people who, the Hot Wheel collectors. Those are some of the worst people I've ever met. Really? Oh, yeah. They're like, Hey dog, let me look through uh, these 200 cars for this one defective car that I'm looking for. Oh, let me. Uh, do you have anything in the back? I'm like, hell no, man. I'm not getting a, another 200 when the shelf is full. Get out of here. Yeah, like I'm not. I'm not bringing out you a box of Hot Wheels, my dude. Look here. There's a whole bunch right here. But true story. But my son has special needs. He wants. He's looking for this weird, this broken Hot Wheel. I'm like. Good luck. That's eBay for you. Go go to eBay. Yeah, and I don't. And you're like, mm, are you sure? You sure it's your son that <laughs> wants that car? Like, like I'm not trying to say you're lying. I'm just a little worried about your your ideology here. I don't know. So currently, our matcherino is at 26 bucks. Uh, Shadow Ace, if you can hear us, check that Discord. I'm gonna don't give me. A, I'm gonna take a second here. I'm gonna thing code matcherino thingy mabobber. Yeah, let's go see what's going on here. You know what's pretty cool about Matcherino? One of the ma the 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 people at staff at Matcherino actually participated in all these online tournaments too, Sermi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sermi's dope. Let's see, contributes. Coupon code. Let's see. <laughs> it's quarters. That's funny. Yeah, that's our favorite arcade bar. 
Let's see here. So eat some down, hot wire fire. Let's do let's see in between Atlanta and Salt Lake City. Halfway point, Atlanta and Salt Lake City. Is Omaha, Nebraska. Huh. Corn, 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 corn. Do they have a data center in Omaha, Nebraska? Let's find out. Omaha. No. They do. All right. All right, here we go. I'm going to just do a speed test in Omaha. Any, here's the plan. <clears throat> You know, huge shout out to more mail carrying for fifteen dollars donated. Dude, more mail's always got our backs. He just finished commentating the MK11 tournament, dropped in some hot money. Awesome. I just think it's so awesome. Like when you watch, like I don't know, especially NLBC gets it a lot, where someone will donate like two hundred bucks. I like you guys. Here you go. I'm like, that is so awesome. Dude, right? Who's... I? Uh, those people are great. I'm, I'm a fan of them just because, like, you're throwing 200 bucks at a tournament just because you enjoy watching it. That's dope. Yeah, or there's a guy that would be like, uh, when NLBC had the offline stuff, he'd be like, he would send, like, two pizzas over there. Yeah, right? Just, like, send him food. Like, that's cool stuff. I know. It's awesome. And, and, you know, there's a lot of gripe with the FGC, like... Somebody saying something dumb here and there, but you no, know, I'm glad we have. It's just in my cases, it's just a lot of good people and yep. a lot of help, helping hand. It's always so beautiful to see. Nah, man, the FTC is always looking out for each other, even when there's salty moments. We're all out here taking care of each other. Uh, so here's. Yeah, exactly. So for those that don't know how this works, what we're gonna do? Let me go to my uh, my bracket looky thingy. So if we transition here, so you can see we have our uh, we have our speed test here. And if you go to said speed test, you can you can change your server right here. So we're gonna run this to Cox Omaha, Omaha any Omaha Nebraska is exactly well. It's in between Salt Lake City Utah and Atlanta Georgia by about forty five miles. So it's the closest midpoint that exists. Yes. A little bit of geography lesson here. Good thing yeah. quizzed. Whew. Yeah. No, I just uh, I just Googled it. So, anywho, this is really, like, there's, it's an online tournament, right? Like, honestly, like, the only truly fair way to figure this out, in my opinion, would just be to flip a fucking coin. Because, like, honestly, depending on how your connection's routed, depending on who your ISP is pairing with, and how the net code's feeling that day, and how warm it is in a server room, like, shit's gonna be different. So, basically, what we do is you, you can speed test to a midpoint... All right, Blanca's Electric says, whatever, let's just run it. All right, man, let's do it. Let's run this bad boy. Uh, so, you know, unfortunately, that's all you can do sometimes, but, you know, it's the attitude you have to have there, too. Ain't no Idom, he is sticking through and through. But at the same time, Idom was automatically qualified, so there's a little bit of stuff in that. Yeah, there's a there's a whole thing there. There's a lot of a lot of stuff there. But you know, I mean, alrighty. So with that, we are gonna jump back into this right now. Shadowways is up two zero on Blanca is electric. Uh, we'll see how the rest of this set goes. Blanca's Electric's got to win three straight. And we'll see how it's going. You know, it's, it's not outside the realm of possibilities. He was looking pretty good. Just a few things didn't go his way. A lot of very, very close rounds. So, yeah. nothing well, can happen. Yeah, definitely not. And I think, too, looking at... Uh, looking at... The connections too, I do see that they're showing closer connection for me now, so maybe leaving the lobby and coming back in, maybe reestablish that connectivity. You just, you don't know. But we'll see how yeah, we do. Uh, it's kind of weird, and uh, you know, 
it also makes me laugh whenever you saw those rumors about how that code works. Like, you guys are pressing the buttons on my wake up. Like, that's slowing the game down. That's that's actually a proven thing in Street Fighter Five, though. Uh, so, like, if you <laughs> mash, if you are mashing inputs on Street Fighter Five, it will in fact like add latency to the game. It's crazy, which is insane to me. It is insane. And I don't know. Yeah, speak- I assume it's because of the way they handled the 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 the, uh, the rollback, but I'm not. I'm not a network engineer, so I'm not going to pretend to know. Uh, speaking of rolls, we're going to see some more Blanca rolls here. Oh, that transition! Yes, with- yeah, right. You know, it was kind of like a, there was a there was a. Uh, I was commentating a tournament, and was, the grand finals was like Mena RD versus. Kaba, and they're playing in the same house, and apparently they're lagging to each other, and they're like, we'll just play this offline, and the guy's like, stream that, like, ah, oh, so what? <laughs> they're like, yeah, but we can play better. Yeah, so it was, it was good on the guy, he let them do to replace stuff and all that, so it worked out. We but, actually, um... <laughs> we've had that same situation happen here as well, actually, where roommates were playing, and their play, one of the guy's playstations went out, and so we just had to have them run the set, and just send us results, and then... You know, street. And then whoever whoever stayed in the tournament, we use their setup. Crush counter resetties. Slide oh, active. In the hard to block roster. Ooh, party, look at this damage. Look at the stun. awareness from Blanca's alleged there. Seeing, th- yeah, knowing it's gonna stun. Little bit of chugging on the spectator end, but Blanca's electric getting the f- closing out with the combo. Okay, so it's looking. I mean, last time there was a little bit of skips here and there, but looking, it's looking pretty smooth so far, at least on the spectator standpoint. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of chugging near the end there, but it's definitely feeling smoother than it was on our end. Um, again, it's going to be a different experience for all of us, so who knows? And chugging is right because Ed's going to have to chug some of that psycho milk or power or something because mm-hmm. Blanca's electric is looking pretty good so far. <gasps> no! There you go, cycle yeah. power in the park. Yeah, but I like that choice from Shadow Ace, right? Cashing out a little bit early, spending the bar. 67 seconds, still on the clock. Oh no, if Blanca Ledger would have had a button out there, I think he would have caught that. That's one of those things that you get you get hit by jumping back, you get salty about that. I definitely yep. feel... The <sighs> delayed uppercut to call out the weight. Man, the delayed, the, he delayed the delayed right there. Yeah, the Ed special. Well, he just didn't delay enough, so Shadow is just smart, you know, right timing there. Yep. Oh, there you go. Look, that rainbow ball just tree. It's very hard to just beat it. it just trades most of the time. Uh, Blanc is electric. Look at that whiff punish there. Nice stuff. He's ready for the short ball, but no, not a good punish. Blanc is electric. Got him in the corner, tossing him. You see, that all started because he was able to confirm off his lights there. Yep. Oh, what, what a little okay. What a little check there. Touching jab into up ball. Oh. The rudeness by Shadow is to interrupt that oh. And he busts out on him trying to jump. Blanc is electric. Takes a game. And for some reason, my scoreboard hit three instead of one. There we go. Not over, says Blanca. So, yeah, that, you know, definitely that could, sometimes the big break could be a change of momentum right there. Looking very good so far. Round one. Right, let's so here we go. I mean, let's see what Mr. Shadowist can change in his gameplay here. You know, block a very momentum-based character. Can be, so you gotta stop that. Yeah, and it's scary. If Ed can start slowing down that momentum, you can start really getting worried about it. Oh, he gets him with the cross-up, though. One more touch is gonna stun. Look for that DP, though. Oh, and just Wow! Like that, I know, hit the, on the backside of the Blanca ball there. <laughs> We're definitely seeing some interactions I'm not used to in this set. I mean, that's what happens when you get Nebraska involved, right? Yeah. Too much corn, weird interactions. 
Ooh, and he's gonna have to eat all the fructose off that corn mm -hmm. right there. Round two. And this, this that that little book. It, what if it was? What if this was all planned? It was all this planned. Was Blanca, this was Blanca's evil plan to reset yeah. everything, to reset momentum. Okay, gets him at the command grab. If he doesn't get anything afterwards, but at least it's something. It puts him in the corner. Oh, and Shadow Ace was trying to block, but... Oh, he tried to call something out with the up ball. But Shadow Ace stayed grounded. Punish there. Yeah, that forward roundhouse is minus four. It was spaced pretty well, though. I think an EXDP might have caught Blanca's electric unawares. Oh, no, he misses the anti-air by hitting jabs. Shadow Ace cashing yeah, out. That sometimes happens, you know, you, the closest bunny piece on stick is sometimes something up when you're not supposed to, you want to crush me a bunny, but unfortunately get the jab there. Oh, no time to guess, I love it. It's how you reset the momentum, EX up ball. I really like that from Blanca's electric, like, basically... Twice? What is he doing? He's just mixing him. Many not times he got that frost up. Yeah, not taking the follow-ups at all. Gets him low! Blanc is electric, putting the chaos in there. And it's two apiece. Control, control chaos is right. Like, mm -hmm. it was kind of weird because normally when you see Blanca's, you know, they land that cross up ball in the corner, they kind of convert into more Blanca balls. But I can't say I've ever seen a Blanca do it three times in a row and it hits every time. So, yeah, it was a little bit of a little bit of a, a pop off, I think, maybe, or maybe just a drop combo when he had to go back into something else to close it. <laughs> And of course, the beautiful part about the way he ended up was confirming off your life. That's something I'm going to talk about, I guess, afterwards, because it's a very good topic to talk about. Confirming off your life to improve your gameplay. Yeah, it's so important to be able to do that. Oh, what, what side was that? Man, that, that B skill? It's so tricky. I like to use that medium kick from Shadow Ace to try to keep Blanca's electric at bay. Okay, confirms off the low. Activation's gonna go for the mix. Nope, just taking the pressure. That's the I mean, oh beautiful throw. Oh, he still had to deal with the V trigger. Not the good not the good damage, but still deal with it. Oh, he gets crossed up at that range. Yeah, that, that jumping medium kick from Ed can be really ambiguous at right ranges, and that one definitely was ambiguous. Yeah, and, and you know, Shadow Ace definitely needed that round. He needed to reset this momentum. Block earned earn his way into moving on the bracket. Just a reminder, the winner of this goes under a winner's, uh, grand, uh, winner's finals. Yeah, yeah. To fight Revealo, I think. That's a Shadow Ace looking strong. But, like I said plenty of times, Blanca is a good comeback character. Yeah, got to get something started, though. You got to be careful looking too desperate. Okay, he's going to activate. Okay, plus toss. He's going to take that throw any day. Absolutely, with that lively double hop. Shadow is comfortable blocking it out. There's the DP. Blanc is electric, overextending a little bit, trying to stay strong. Good game, good reversal. Almost pulled it through. Blanc, uh, Shadow is taking it 3-2. Yeah, taking it and, you know, there's some good input on both sides. I love it. And yep. Blanca is not out of the story yet. He's going to come back in another chapter in Loser's Side. So, for him. Yeah, yeah I mean, I like this. Blanca, Blanca, Blanca. And, you know, I don't want to ruin your day. Maybe it'll make your day. I don't know. But we are actually going to see another Blanca, Samskis, yes. versus Antirex. The Bison we saw earlier, uh, who played Blanca's Electric, I think. So Anti Rex running the Blanca Gauntlet tonight. Oh man, that's not a fun way to end your night, possibly to get double Blanca'd. Yeah, nobody wants to get double Blanca'd. I was at a How bar once. They tried to do that to me, and it was 